It's no doubt that Kitsap County, Washington is absolutely blowing up and I'm getting questions left and right every day. So in today's video, I'm going to answer a lot of common questions I get from Californians looking to relocate and start an awesome life up here in Kitsap County, Washington. So if you fit in that criteria, make sure you stay tuned and watch this entire video through the end because I'm going to have a ton of really cool knowledge that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else and we're getting after it right now. Everybody. I'm Ladina Strand. I'm a local real estate agent here in beautiful Kitsap County, Washington. Now, if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about Kitsap County, well, I do tons and tons of videos, everything you need to know. So you want to make sure you tap that subscribe button down below and you click that little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. Now I'm getting lots and lots of phone calls, emails, texts every single day of people looking to relocate here and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving, relocating, make sure you reach out to me by giving me a call, shoot me a text, you can send an email or you can even send the Seahawk. However you want to get a hold of me, I've got your back on moving to Kitsap County, Washington. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I hope you guys really enjoy all the value I'm gonna to try to bring to you guys today. So let's do this. So the reason I decided to make this video in the first place is because at the time of filming this video, which is the first or second week of October, I've had several people in the last several days reach out looking to move and relocate to start a whole new journey up here in Kitsap County, Washington. So it's been insane. So a lot of people were trying to get out of California for a number of reasons, which we're going to go in over today. It's been crazy. You know, we haven't seen this many people looking to get out of this, you know, out of this rapidly in a, a while from a direct area so quickly. So honestly, it's really crazy to see. And I felt like there's not enough videos talking about the transition from California to Kitsap County. And a lot of people are moving to these areas. So the whole purpose of this video is to get into that. And that brings me into the first point. And it really comes down to recreation access. So a lot of people I'm finding moving up here are looking for the opportunity to get into nature really quickly, enjoy their lifestyle and kind of slow down a little bit. They're trying to get out of the big city. They feel kind of stuck and they want the ability to go to the river, to the mountains, to the lakes. You know, everything here is about a 30 minute to a couple hours drive away. There's stuff outside of that, but a lot of the really, really fun stuff to, to do is super close to Kitsap County and it's no secret. You know, everyone knows this and that's why Kitsap County is blowing up so quickly. So that's probably the first reason they want to get out, you know, out of the big city and to escape all the people and just slow down. And this is the perfect place to do that. You know, I've talked about that numerous times and there are really a lot of different lifestyles in Kitsap County. So let's roll into that next. So overall, obviously, a lot of people are going to be escaping the city for just slowing down, you know, getting out of the huge populations and being somewhere where recreation is close. Now, if you've been researching Kitsap County, you are, you know, probably already know everything that Kitsap has to offer. And there's tons of resources out there to really know what Kitsap County is like before even happen to make your move out here. But moving on from that, I want to talk about two or three other things. And that one is the job industry and just jobs in general. Uh, two is the cost of living and then kind of a comparison of what you can get, say, in Laguna Beach, which I've had people reach out from the Bay Area versus Kitsap County a lot. OK, so the first thing is the job changes that are happening currently all across California. So the first thing I'm noticing right now, and you guys are probably, you know, know this, Big Tech is basically letting a lot of their employees work virtually for a year to, you know, who knows how long with how fast things are changing right now. So I'm seeing a large amount of people that are from, you know, the tech industry that are allowed to work from wherever they want. You know, they realize, okay, wow, I'm kind of stuck in this bubble. I want to get out. I'm going to head up to Western Washington or Kitsap County. So I'm seeing a lot of people doing this, which is great. Now, on top of that, you know, Kitsap is expected to have a lot of industry growth in the next 10 years. You know, a great example is Amazon has now built their first warehouse here. And I think that's just going to be the beginning. So from a mid to long term plan in terms of your career, Kitsap County is going to be a great spot for all. We have the sixth largest naval base in the U.S. located here and employs thousands of people. And we have a lot of people employed in the medical field. 
And I think we're gonna start seeing Kitsap turn into a major outlet of Tacoma and Seattle and bring in a lot of really good jobs. So that's you know good for everyone around. And hey, if these videos are really helping you with your move out here, can you please smash that like button? It really helps my videos out. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll give you a couple seconds to do that. Go ahead, go ahead, hit that like button. So now when you combine those things, a lot of you are realizing, okay, Kitsap County could be a really solid move. <clears throat> it's not just for recreation. You know, that could be smart to pair my future career along with the lifestyle and, you know, really be able to live where I want. So to combine that, I wanna go in and co compare the cost of living in Laguna Beach. So like I was saying, I've had a few people reach out from that exact area in California, as well as the Bay Area, and compare that to, the, to a home in Kitsap County. So the price range I ended up doing a really quick search on was 500,000 to 600,000. Now here in Kitsap County, that will get you an amazing property. In those areas, that's probably a startup property, two bedroom condo, et cetera. So here's a property that I found really quickly on Zello in Kitsap. It's four bedrooms, three baths, and just under 2,500 square feet on over an acre of land in a good area where you know where you essentially aren't crowded and you're right ne not right next to your neighbor. So you can have that really nice lifestyle that Kitsap provides at 590,000, which is super good price if you're coming from California. And then compare that to the 500 to $600,000 condo, which is the only thing I could really find in that price range in Laguna Beach, which is a relatively expensive area. But people are reaching out in that price range and they wanna know what's here in Kitsap County. So here's what you can buy in Laguna Beach. It's a two bedroom, two bath condo at a thousand square feet. So if you have more than two people, it can feel crowded and you have you know, no yard. It can be really, really hard to live there comfortably. So it's nice to have the options to work wherever you want and have the really nice large home or whatever you want to find. There's a lot of options here and you're not cramped, you're not next to everyone and you have your own little bubble that you don't have to worry about you know, getting intruded on at all. And so that's kind of the second thing, that's a pretty obvious one, but Western Washington, there are really big spreads and this area provides a ton of opportunity to escape those super high inflated housing costs that we're seeing across California right now. So expanding on top of that, the cost of living, I wanna talk about some more statistics that I think you know, are really important and I get a lot of questions asked a lot. So addressing them here will kind of help you guys save that research later. So let's say you're moving from Los Angeles to Kitsap County, you're gonna save about one third of the cost by moving, by moving here rather than living in Los Angeles. You know, that includes the all around housing, if you bought a house, that includes renting, that includes utilities, waters, water, food, grocery, cars, everything you can imagine. It's gonna save you about a third in the state of Washington. And here I have the cost of living for California compared to the national average. Now overall, California is sitting at a 149 index and the US average is 100, whereas Kitsap County is sitting at an index of 118 compared to the national average. And if you look at all of our living expenses are right around that 100 index. We're just higher in the cost of housing category compared to the rest of the country. We do not have a state income tax and our sales tax is about the same average as California, so that'll basically be a wash. And our property tax rate sits right around that 1% mark, which is gonna be a little bit lower than California. So the cost of living statistically is going to save you a ton of money. You're going to have the options to travel to amazing areas. You know, we're so close to Seattle, Eastern Washington, where there are a ton of things to do. And you know, it's not that bad of a drive to Portland either. You know, there's a ton of things to do here outside the cities. You have the mountains, you have the oceans, the rivers, you have the lakes. And then including that, you have all the activities that you can do on each one of those things. So you're really gonna have an insane amount of access to recreation. And your cost of living is gonna go down by a third and you're gonna be able to find a lot of really nice opportunities in terms of homes, whether you're renting or buying. And right now, everything is looking good from either side. You know, there's a lot of competition, but with the right agent, you're gonna be able to find exactly what you're looking for pretty quickly if everything goes well and you're looking in the right areas and you know what you want. So from the cost of living perspective, I wanna keep adding on to that and you really can't go wrong. And that's something I hear a lot in terms of people asking me questions. So I hope that kind of helps clear up more statistically that side of things. So now we're at the point in the video where we've talked about the cost of living um, and jobs. A lot of the reasons people are coming here on the grander scheme. Now I wanna talk about some of the more fun stuff stuff. People love living here. They're very satisfied. Um, there are so many great, you know, great activities and lifestyle to enjoy here. And because people are satisfied, it makes for stronger communities. 
So our residents are super satisfied with living in Kitsap County, which I think you know is amazing for a lot of reasons, but mainly because if you are new to a community, you don't wanna be somewhere where people just don't care about anyone besides themselves. And they're trying to escape where they're living from. And I'm sure you know some of you guys are experiencing that now, you know where you guys are at. But Kitsap, it's not like that. Overall, we're super accepting. You know, we always you know love new people coming in. There's always going to be a few sour individuals, but I just say ignore them. You know, it's awesome to be somewhere where residents love where they live and they're content. They're not trying to escape overall. Another thing is Washington as a whole, and Kitsap is one of the leaders in this and has 386 individually run or smaller scale breweries that have their own taste, their own style. That's awesome for a lot of reasons. One, it makes the beer great. Two, it's awesome from being able to go and try a bunch of different spots and really just hang out with friends. And three, it's awesome because we're one of the leaders in the country for individual craft beers. And that brings a lot of industry to our area and the state of Washington as a whole. Also, our climate allows for many different types of outdoor activities and experiences all year long. We have, you know, just an example, we have boating, camping, and fishing, to name a few in the summer. We're not too far from the mountains for snow skiing and snowboarding in the winter months as well. So that's a bunch of different reasons why I think people are looking to escape from California. You know, all of that together just put, you know, something that for a certain type of person is irresistible. And I hope I answered, you know, a few questions for you guys. Um, you know, I, I enjoy trying to help you guys out as much as possible. Hey, comment down below the video on which videos or topics you'd like to see me cover in the future. I want to continue to give you the information that you're looking for. And if you're thinking about moving or relocating here so you too can enjoy all that the Kitsap Peninsula has to offer, I've helped dozens of families move here, I have the process dialed in, and I can help you with your transition. But in order for me to do that, you gotta give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, however you wanna get a hold of me. I've got your back, I'm moving to Western Washington. And until that next video, I'll catch you later.